my 1957 Bear Polar. So that bow and this back quiver and this glove, I don't know about the arrows, but they were, I think the arrows maybe a few years later because they're, they're the fiberglass herders. Herders, what does it say? Furbin glass. Farbin, no, Farbin glass. <laughs> Dash one. So, um, all were purchased in 1957 by a 16 year old. He sold them to me just last week. The guy is uh, 79 years old, so he'd been 16 in 1957. Looked at the bow, put it on a Facebook page, had some guys basically say, yeah, it's, it's probably a 57. Looks like it's 57. So, uh, made a string for it. I think I made it a little too long. But I got, I got my eight inch uh, brace height here. But, but the string was a little long, did a, what do you call those? Flemish weave, Flemish twist, whatever. So I have not shot this bow yet. I'm gonna give it a go. If it blows up, it blows up. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. There's my target down there. somewhere to stick this something like that gonna fling three arrows the guy that sold sold this to me said he hadn't even strung it up for 10 years he also was in a club over in Brigham City. Um, he was a aerospace engineer. He said he worked on rockets. Rocket engines. There we go. That arrow, I think, was way, way over or, or under spined. Let me try another one. Whew. Pluck that release. Yeah, these arrows are really underspined. They have really heavy tips. Um, the gentleman I bought it from was quite a bit smaller than me, so he probably had a smaller, uh, a shorter draw. More than likely his draw was shorter, so he, uh, I'm gonna say that um, he wasn't probably pulling it back as far as I was. And uh, so, but the, the tips on these arrows are really heavy, so I'm gonna have to Put some lighter tips. I don't know what grains they are, but boy, they're really heavy. They're really front end heavy. I think I'm just lobbing them in. I've never shot that style of bow. That's a that's what you call a uh, semi recurve, I believe. Beautiful bow, though. I don't know. I'm guessing that's maple. I'm guessing the riser is maple. Beautiful glass, though. I like the red glass. Kind of maroon colored. Really pretty bow. White tips inlays you know it's just a wonderful ball well one arrow went to the right of the target white arrow so i get to find that in the snow <laughs> yep snow walker signing off may your arrows fly true